Gericon 305, Bread Sum Part 2, Conception Risk. Last month we looked at preg risk, which is a measure of cows eligible. This month we will be looking at conception risk, which is a measure of breedings, not just cows. The formula for conception risk is the number of pregnant over the number of insemination attempts. The probability that an eligible animal will become pregnant in a given time period. The asterisk on a conception risk chart will indicate that greater than 10% unknown outcomes are in that category. Across the bottom where you see the total line, no matter how you break out your conception risk chart, you will always see the same number of breedings and the same percent conception. It will just be broken out differently. One of the very important things to be looking at when you look at the conception risk charts is your 95% confidence interval. This confidence interval indicates how reliable the data is. When we are looking at Al, we will see that he has a confidence interval of 32 to 36 with a conception of 34%. What this actually means is that the 34% could actually be anywhere between 32 and 36. Because this is a very tight window, it indicates that this is very reliable data and we would expect it to repeat itself. When we're looking at the relief technician, we'll see that the confidence interval there is between 5 and 70 percent. So that means that our 25 percent conception could actually be anywhere between 5 and 70 percent. With the very large range, this data is not very reliable. The data is basically how reliable it is depends on your data points that you have or your breedings. You'll see that Al actually has 2,299 breedings versus the relief technician who only has four breedings. So it's very important when you're looking at your conception risk charts to also look at your confidence interval to be sure that you're looking at reliable data. On each of the charts, you will see that on the far left-hand side, you will see the parameter or how you have your conception risk chart broken out. Then going across to the right, you will see your 95% confidence interval, your percent conception risk, the number of pregnancies, which is going to be the count of inseminations that had a known outcome of pregnant. Then you'll have your opens, which is going to be the count of the ones with the known outcome of open. And then you'll have an other column. The other column is the inseminations with unknown outcomes, or the two-day rebreedings will also be included in there. When we say an unknown outcome, meaning that we do not have a open or are pregnant on those animals. You will also see the count of inseminations that resulted in an abortion and your total inseminations which are your pregnancies plus your opens plus the others. Then you will see your percent total and what this indicates is the percent of total inseminations in each category. And In this example we will see that Gary bred 80 percent of the animals. So of the 14 4934 total inseminations, 80% of them were done by Gary. Bev did 18% of them. And then your last column on the far right will be your services per conception. You will also see across the top bar the range that we are actually looking at for analysis. And there are some defaults that are assumed in here. You will always have adults only unless a switch is used. AI inseminations, and we will be looking at the last 365 days of insemination attempts, and we will only be looking at the known outcomes of open or pregnant when you're doing your conception risk. Now we will go into Dairy Comp, and I will show you some examples of different ways that you can break out your conception risk, and also how you can use the options box to make some changes. To bring up Bread Sum and Dairy Comp, you simply type Bread Sum at the command line and press Enter. Then you will get a list of all the different ways that you can look at your Bread Sum or your conception risk. We are going to start by looking at the technician. The technician will allow you to look at by technician whose conception rate may be better and who's doing a better job of getting the animals bred. Remember, it's very important to be looking at the confidence interval as well. If you want to make changes or look at a different category, you can click on the Options button in the upper right corner. 
When you click on the Options button, you then get a chart where you're able to make some changes. You can change how you're looking at the conception risk. You can change whether you want to only look at AI breedings or AI and bull breedings. You can set a cutoff, so you can say that I only want to see the ones that have um, like at least 10% of the breedings. You can set a cutoff. You can also look at different lactation groups, and you can also change the time range that you're actually looking at. So in this case, we're going to now look at those animals by the times bred. And if we do that, we can click OK, and now our chart is going to change to now we're looking at our conception risk by the number of breedings. So our first breeding has a 45% conception risk, second a 30 third to 31, and this is one that's very important to look at. Um, you'd like to keep those so that you don't see big drop-offs between your first breeding and your second breeding. We can also do what we call multivariant analysis. What this allows you to do is to use more than one factor, and this is important when looking at the information because maybe you have some technicians that only breed virgin heifers. You may have a technician that started breeding in the spring or summer when it was harder to get animals bred, or you may have timed um, AI versus standing heats. We're going to type in bred some, and we're going to put a backslash, and then we're going to put an O, which means the breeding code, a T for technician, and then we're going to use an X, and the X actually does the multivariant um, analysis. Now we're going to get the same type of bread sum chart, except this time we have down the left-hand side the technicians, and across the top we actually have the breeding code, so the actual code of when how they were bred. And now you can look at the top part is these are going to be all your 95% confidence intervals. You're going to have your percents, your count of those animals, and then the number of pregnancies. You can also look and see uh, what the conception rate was uh, with the difference between the sex versus the conventional semen. In this case, we're going to be looking at the heifers on this dairy. So we're going to do a bread sum backslash x, which is going to again do the double analysis. Then we're going to have a b, and the b is for the times bread. We're going to put an m, which is going to be for the stud code. And then we're going to put a y, which just tells us that we're going to be using our heifers versus our cows. You're going to be able to see your confidence interval at the top. You're going to then be able to see your percentage, and again, by two different factors, you're going to be able to see the sires, the um, conventional versus the, the sex semen, and you're also going to be able to see across the top your time spread. There's another way that you can look at your conception risk, and that's graphically. We do recommend running the bread sum backslash R to monitor recent conception. The backslash R will allow you to show the conception rates in the herd broken down by weekly intervals. Once you bring this graph up, you will see that we have several different colored bars showing up. Uh, the yellow bar indicates that you have over 10% unknown outcomes. If you are seeing red bars, you'll see that there is a warning and it says bred at 21 days. The red bars indicate that you're having to rebreed animals, and that could be an early warning of conception problems. The pink bars that you're seeing on here, you'll see it says warning duplicate. And the pink bars are showing that a greater than 10% of your breedings occurred within two days of the prior breeding. So in other words, there's a lot of double breeding going on in the dairy. So when you're looking at this graphically, you're going to not only be able to see your conception risk, but you're also going to be able to see those bars which may indicate problems in the reproduction program. That concludes our session on conception risk. Next month, I will be covering CowVal.